Were you involved in a toxic relationship where the other person expected something from you or expected something and you had no clue? Well, today we're gonna dive into 10 things that oftentimes narcissists expect from you. So stick around. If you guys are new here, my name is Ben Taylor. I'm a self-aware narcissist on this channel to provide awareness, growth, healing, and change. We do it on all different platforms. We drop small nuggets of truth every single day on short reels and TikToks of TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, or on Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Just look us up under Raw Motivations. You never know, you might be able to share just a little clip with someone that might help them get awareness of what they're actually going through, of get some clarity through the crazy making that they've been involved in. That's what we try to do every single day by interacting with people in one-on-ones to help them in their healing process, to turn that growth mindset and that journey as they continue moving forward into a positive experience so they can break free of the trauma bond, they can get through the rumination, and they can set up healthy boundaries moving forward so they don't go back to the narcissist and so they don't go get with someone who is toxic as well. If you guys haven't had a chance to be able to hear from the wife's perspective, would love to have you engage with that. Just check out the new podcast called Trauma, Drama, and Life. We've got our first season up there that we'd love for you to be able to interact with, be able to get some information of myself and Kayla, my wife, sitting down and talking to you about narcissism, about our marriage, about different things that have happened and gone through and mindset-wise, a whole bunch of things. So check that out. Also, we just recently released um, a book journal called From Fantasy to Reality. It's a journal that has over 100 prompts in it to be able to help you start to work through the crazy making of being with a toxic person. Whether you're still with them or whether you're out of that relationship, it's helpful to start getting some clarity and make sure you're not believing a false narrative, but actual the truth of what's been going on. If you'd like to interact with me or engage with coaching or work through some different topics, I would love to engage with you. Just go to rawmotivations.com, click on one-on-ones, we can set up a time to chat. Well, in talking about narcissists, a lot of times it's known that narcissists are really, really demanding. They're demanding of your time, of your attention, of your approval. They're demanding to get validation over something. And, and it happens time and time again that they want people to validate their false reality. They want people to validate the mask that they're putting up. I want you to validate who I am. I want you to validate the things that are going on. And I want that attention so that I feel better about myself in that process. Well, for people that haven't been with a narcissist, it feels like crazy making. Like it feels like I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand why they want this, why they're interacting this way. So as a result, maybe it makes sense this way, maybe it doesn't. And cognitive distance a lot of times sets in. Well, today we're going to dive into 10 things that narcissists often expect from you. Number one is a lot of times they expect you to give a lot of things and not get anything in return. So give without expectation of ever getting anything back. This is where the narcissist invests $2 into you and expects $2 million back. Because at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's all about the narcissist. It's about what they want, what they're going to get, what they're going to receive. And everything that you do needs to revolve around them. It needs to go back to them. Ultimately, it needs to help them with their mask and show themselves that they're a good person. When in reality, they're not really investing or giving back or investing in anyone else. Instead, it's all about them. Maybe you've been with a narcissist and you expected that they would actually listen to you or you would expect them to actually pay attention. Number two is oftentimes the narcissist expects to listen without being heard. You see, the narcissist doesn't care to listen to you. They don't care of what's actually going on in your life. They might act like it or they might seem like it, but they don't really hear you. They don't really think about the situation or what's going on or really interact. They're just like, okay, whatever. They expect that. They expect you to just listen, but you don't have a say. With that, a lot of times narcissists will come up with ideas. And if you don't adhere to them or if you don't like them, then it gets them all upset. But you actually coming up with a problem can't have that because that goes against my mask. That goes against me being a good person. That affects my ego. So as a result, I have to push that away. You need to make sure you listen to me, but I don't need to listen to you. That's the thought process a lot of times with a narcissist. Because at the end of the day, the ego is what's winning over everything. My ego is bigger, which means I'm smarter, I'm greater, I'm better, I'm better looking. Like all these thoughts a lot of times are inside narcissist head of like, I'm this way, you're not, so therefore you shouldn't have an opinion and you shouldn't have a voice. Okay? Number three, narcissists expect you 
to respect their boundaries while ignoring your own. You see, when we talk about boundaries, we normally talk about setting those with a narcissist, but a narcissist expects you to fall into compliance and to not have your own boundaries. This is why a lot of times you see a lot of things with narcissists that are very hypocritical. Like, I can have friends, you can't have friends. I can go places, you can't go places. And, and back and forth it goes, and you're like, how does this even make sense? Well, it's because they want you to respect them and what they want to do, okay? But they're not going to respect your own. This is why a lot of narcissists are like, you can't look at my phone. This is my phone. This is private information. But then they expect you to be transparent with your phone. Again, very hypocritical and not listening and not having the same boundaries for both people. A lot of times they won't respect your boundaries by ignoring yours in the aspect of, hey, I need to know where you are. I need to know where you're going. I need to have access to your phone. I need to keep you away from your friends. Now, it's not always that blatant and that out front, but that's the end result. A lot of times they have their own boundaries. They have their own rules, but they're not going to listen to any of yours. They're not going to listen to anything that affects you or that makes you feel a certain way. Number four, narcissists expect you to agree and give in without question. Automatic compliance. Narcissists feel entitled of like, hey, I have the right answer. I need you to do this. Go do this, whatever it is. And if you don't respond right away, it feels like disrespect instantly. Like, I can't believe you would actually disrespect me like that. For me personally, like now in my healing journey, one of the hardest parts is our daughter. She's three years old. So a lot of that feels like, hey, I need you to do this. No, that feels very, very, very triggering because I automatically expect there to be compliance there. It's something that is automatically like triggering me because I'm like, whoa, disrespect. When in reality, like it's her growing, it's her learning, it's her changing, and we work through that. But I have to change my mindset because otherwise I'm just like, nope, you need to do what I want you to do instantly versus having space for her feelings or stuff that she's going through. Number five, narcissists expect you to accept their distortions and facts. We see this all the time in the aspect of gaslighting, of like, I'm going to tell you what to believe, when to believe it, how to believe it, and you better believe it and believe that it's fact because I'm the one who said it, even if it's completely false. A lot of times narcissists will make up things, will extrapolate things, will you know, go to far, far lengths to make a lie and you have to believe it. If you don't believe it, that's an issue. Number six, narcissists expect you to support their belief that they are superior. When you don't bow down to the narcissist and make them feel like the best person on the planet, make them feel like they're number one, they're the God of the universe, then it seems like disrespect. It seems like, how dare you talk back to me when I'm the best person ever, when I'm the best person in the world? That mindset oftentimes infiltrates a lot of aspects of narcissism, and you're expected to believe that. You're expected to support that. Number seven, narcissists expect you to endure their condensation. Their condensation, not condensation, condensation, belittlement, rage, without complaint. You see, as a narcissist, I expect you to take all the stuff that I'm doing. I expect you to take all the shit that I'm putting on you and just deal with it because I don't want to deal with it. A lot of it's stuff that I'm feeling that I'm projecting onto you. A lot of it's stuff that I'm dealing with that I don't want to deal with. I can't handle it emotionally, and so I'm going to put it on you. And I'm also going to make sure that I knock you down a couple levels to make sure that you're below me, that you're beneath me, that you're not as good as me. Anything like that to be able to put you down so that I feel better about myself. And so they expect you to deal with that. They expect you to deal with it and not complain about it. Don't complain about it. Don't say anything because I do X, Y, and Z. You should deal with it. A lot of times that's the mindset. Another thing that narcissists expect. Number eight, narcissists expect you to cater to their needs while sacrificing your own. It's all about the narcissist. If anything, people need to hear this loud and clear. It's always about the narcissist. It's not about anybody else. You might feel like it's about you, but it's not about you. It's all about the narcissist. Because when it comes down to it, your needs don't matter. Your needs are an inconvenience to the narcissist. Your needs are something that they're not willing to engage with and don't care about. All they care about is themselves. The ego, the sense of entitlement, like my needs matter more than your needs. 
Okay, your needs matter, but you know, not that much. My needs matter most. Like that is the mindset and the thought process of if you're not catering to my needs, if you're not dealing with me, if you're not helping me, if supporting me, loving me, then what are you doing? The thought process is you have to cater to my needs while sacrificing your own. Yours don't matter. Number nine, things a narcissist expect from you, they expect you to serve their privilege over yours. They expect like service and they expect to get more things from you than opposite. They expect you to bow down to their wishes, to their needs, to desires. And oftentimes people are like, why would I do that? I expect that. As a narcissist, the thought process is I expect you to serve me. I expect you to do what I want you to do. People struggle with this concept when they're thinking of like, oh, but I'm a good person. The narcissist doesn't care. Narcissist doesn't care if you're a good person or if you're a bad person. What they care about is if you're usable to do what they want you to do for them. That's all it comes back to. Number 10, narcissists expect you to take responsibility of how they are hurting you. Because at the end of the day, it's not the narcissist's fault. It can't be their fault. So how you got hurt is actually your fault. How I reacted to you is actually your fault. How I cheated on you is actually your fault. That's the thought process. If it has to go back on you and you have to take responsibility of the shit that I've done so that I don't have to deal with the responsibility, with the accountability of the stuff that I've done. So therefore, it can't be me. It always has to be back on you. Hope that made sense. Hope that helped. Those 10 things that narcissists expect from you.